So this tutorial is incredibly easy. It's all about you know texturing, lighting, and compositing. There's hardly any keyframes, no expressions, and very easy to follow along with to create something cinematic, a cinematic title, or even a logo animation. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone's doing excellent today. So we're gonna use some volumetric assets to help build out a scene. It's gonna be a quick tutorial, easy to follow along with. So without wasting more time, let's jump in and let's create something awesome. All right, if you wanna follow along for a tutorial and use the assets that we're using, you can download our project files for free. The link will be below. So the first thing you wanna do is type out your title or a logo, whatever you wanna do. And when you have your assets ready, you go to layer, pre-compose, and just call it placeholder. And then what you want to do is find a texture. So if you download project files, you can get this texture that I'm bringing into our composition here. And what I'll do is scale this down by hitting S on my keyboard. And I want this to be nice and small because I want this to be detailed. So 4% there. And what we'll do is bring this texture layer, put it underneath our placeholder, come here to the track mat and just set this to alpha mat. Okay. And what we'll do is come here to effect stylize and we're gonna grab CC repeat tile. And we'll come here to expand right. We'll set this up to really high like 8,000. Uh, for the left and the right and then what we'll do is take this effect and we'll go to edit duplicate and we'll click on reset and we'll come here to expand down we'll set this up to maybe 4,000 and then the up to 4,000 as well and we'll come here to tiling and we'll set this to checker flip V perfect now one thing you might notice depending on the texture if you're using my texture is that this is a little bit dark here so what we'll do to fix this we'll go to effect color correction curves and we'll come here to the bottom point, bring this up so they'll help brighten up by a little bit and we can kind of just flatten that out and bring, maybe bring this point over. So it's all about contrast and lighting, but you don't want this to be too dark and you know, this is about good. So what we'll do is take everything here and we'll pre-compose this and we'll call it texture. Perfect. Then what we're going to do is apply some effects to this. But before we do that, we should probably bring in a background. You don't have to bring in a background because we're going to do some crazy things uh, later in this tutorial where you won't be able to see the background, but you can download my project files and you can see what we're doing. So the first effect we're going to apply to our texture layer is we'll go to effect generate and we'll grab CC light sweep. Okay. I love this effect. Go to the beginning of your timeline and grab the anchor point of that effect and bring it all the way over to the left. Add a keyframe for center. All right. The only time we're really using keyframes in this tutorial. Move forward to maybe like two seconds or more. Maybe we'll do like three seconds. I think that's fine. And we'll just have this go all the way over to the opposite side. So what's going to happen is you get this animation. That's totally fine. We'll come here to the sweep intensity. Set, set that up to 100. Come here to the edge thickness and we'll set this up to five. Awesome. And what I'll do is take this effect and I'll duplicate it twice. So we'll have three copies of this and we'll hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And all we're going to do is take each of these keyframes and just offset them in time just like this. So this way we'll have multiple variations of this effect of on at the same exact time and it will animate throughout the animation. So you could duplicate this effect more depending on how long this needs to be. Then let's go to effect perspective and we're going to add a bevel alpha. All right. Don't need to do anything there. Go back to effect perspective and we're going to add a drop shadow to this. Come here to the opacity, set this up to 85%. Come here to the softness, set this to like 15, maybe the distance to 10. And we'll take this drop shadow effect, duplicate it, come here to the softness on the duplicated effect and set this up to 80. All right. So you have a little bit of a pop out, you know, th three dimensional title or logo, but all these elements will come together and make rest of our scene epic in this tutorial. And of course, before we move on, I want to give a huge shout out to our 1400 plus motion graphics professionals pack right here for after effects. So this is our motion graphics professional pack, which has over 1400 elements in it for after effects. And we have so many elements in this, but I just want to show you how this works. So this is our titles category. And what we can do is preview any of our templates before we want to apply it. And when we find the right template, we just click on apply. So now we have a full title animation here that we can go into this template and easily change out our titles. And our titles and graphics are completely auto resizing. And we have control layers that allow us to easily change colors to whatever color as we see fit. And we have a handful of other amazing elements in here that we can bring into this. So for example, we have high tech elements that I love using and we can use this as like an animated background. So we'll find the background we want, click on apply. Now we have a really cool background in here and we can take this even further 
with some quick accent motion graphics to help spruce up our work. All right, with a few clicks of a button, we can put together a full composition with our motion graphics professionals pack. And we have hundreds of other elements that we didn't even go through like animated promos, transitions, and creative effects that all can be applied into any After Effects project. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time while producing awesome work and having a huge library of assets for all your After Effects projects, you can take a look at our links below. If you do pick up anything off the website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, so let's go ahead and start creating a scene like this. And how we do this is we have to bring in some third party assets, which are I'll link all below, but it comes with the project files as well. So we'll grab like our fog asset here and put it underneath our logo or your title. And we'll come into blend mode and set this to screen. You'll always have to scale this down to fit the comp size or scale it up depending on what you're doing. And we'll come here to effect color correction, say curves, and you know, we can pop this up a little bit so we can see that smoke a little bit better. And then we can bring in another you know fog asset as well and set that blend mode to screen, make sure that's scaled in there so it fits. And we'll come here to effect color correction curves and we can maybe make this one a little bit darker. So those two together will blend just well and add a little bit of atmosphere to our scene. All right, so this is looking terrible. However, we're about to make this so much better with some other elements. So I have this beam kit asset, which is volumetric light here. Remember to download this links. You can get a full pack for free. It will be linked below. All these are coming in full packs, but I do suggest taking a look at that, but we'll bring this into our timeline. And what's cool about this is that this will actually animate on and reveal our scene. So we don't have to do any crazy animation. So first thing we'll do is come here to effect color correction and we'll grab the tint effect because I don't like the color. We'll colorize this in a little bit. And what we'll do here is take our beam kit here and we will pre-compose it and we can call it beams and move all attributes to new composition. We'll go into that comp. We can take this effect and we can duplicate it. Go to layer transform and we can like flip it horizontally and also go back to layer transform and flip it vertically. You can bring other assets into this and build this out with the full download. And what we'll do is select the blend modes on these and set this to screen. We'll take the top element, maybe like lower down the opacity by hitting T on our keyboard. So create something a little bit more separate. And also our motion graphic professionals pack, you know, we also have some lens flares in here that we could add with a click of a button. And I'll go ahead and do that. And remember, you can download project files to get this asset for free. And I have this asset right in here. And you, can, of course, I'll apply the tin effect as well. And one thing we'll do is come here to begin our timeline since this is already animated up here. We'll hit T on keyboard for opacity. We'll add a keyframe for opacity. Bring that keyframe forward maybe by two seconds and set the opacity down 0%. The goal here is to let this be the animate in sequence. So that it has to start on black and then all the assets can animate in and brighten up the scene. Okay, so what we're gonna do here back in our main composition is we'll set the blend mode for our beams layer to hard light. All right, so this is coming together, but we're so close to just making this look amazing. The last element we'll add in here is a subtle dust element. You want some particles obviously floating around in your scene. We also have particles in our motion graphics professionals pack, but we'll go ahead and bring this asset in here. And, you know, we'll set the blend mode to screen and we'll go ahead and just scale this down and you can duplicate it, add more particles, do what you want. All right, so now we have all of our assets in here. Let's really take this to the next level really easily. So we'll go to layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll go to effect color correction and we'll add curves to this. And what we'll do here is we'll come right to the red channel and we'll just slightly bring this down. So we're gonna colorize this uh, with this curves effect, go to the green channel and maybe we'll bring this down by a little bit as well. And you know, I think that's totally fine. We'll go ahead and take this effect and we'll duplicate it, reset it. And we'll come here and create a big S curve here. And this will allow us to create some great contrast. And then maybe we'll come here to the red channel one more time and bring this down by a little bit more. And by really dialing in the RGB curve here, you can create some very strong contrast, which is really gonna separate and punch this scene. So, you know, really decide on how much contrast you wanna have. Maybe I'm taking it too far, but it's completely up to you. So just the second curves effect really punches and dials in everything in this scene. And we'll go ahead and create one more adjustment layer, go to effect noise and grain and make sure you add noise because right now this is very clean and we set this up to maybe 18% uncheck use color noise. It's gonna make it seem a lot more gritty um, and you know, in my opinion, a lot more cinematic um, and professional. So now you're gonna have a scene that will reveal on everything with the assets that we use to this nice, you know, colorized and controlled scene. So that's our tutorial on creating this really cool volumetric logo or title right here for After Effects. See, it's all about compositing the elements together and it's just 
pretty much easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.